What's going on, people? So, one of the cool things about this here YouTube thing or whatever that I've been doing for a little while now is that every so often I'll meet some people who are willing to kind of help out, throw a little assist my way when I'm looking for something. Yesterday, that came in the way of old Chick Foley letting me know about the whole pre-sale thing for the AEW Dynamite slash Rampage show coming around in Norfolk. So, I'm going to be seeing that in November. And other times it's things that are shoe related, right? I put that first because I, I mean, it kind of carries a lot more weight. But anyway, so also for these right here, probably wouldn't have really thought much about them, or at least known that Finish Line had them, had it not been for Hack 2 Spit. He let me know. He's like, hey, these are on sale right now. You know, go ahead. Well, not like discount, but they're out there to be bought. Of course, by the time like I got the notice, by the time he got the notice, whatever, the size I needed wasn't there, but I at least knew to keep an eye on the site. And then later on, they came back around and I was able to get my pair. He was also the one who let me know that my little YouTube or my little Instagram clips, the audio had been a little off. So dude's doing all right for himself. So thank you to you. Again, I do appreciate that. I said it before, I'll say it again because you know, why not? But anyway, so now I got these right here, right? Take a gander out the side of the box for the two of you that care to see it. So there's that for you. Now, let's go ahead and just jump right on into this. As I was kind of saying before, this right here comes from Finish Line and it is an Air Max 97 SE in the cork and denim colorway. There's that for you. You know, somebody once asked me what SE stands for and or what it meant and what made them special, you know? I'm like, and I'm thinking like the same thing that makes you special. Absolutely nothing. I didn't really say that, but I definitely like have thoughts like that but you know you can't be mean to everybody in the comments or at least you're not supposed to is that i don't even know if that's true or not i don't know i'll, I'll deal with that later anyways let's go ahead and talk about these right here we're going to start this particular review with the bottom down there what you're looking at is going to be a cork outsole which is the thing that sold me on these right otherwise it looks very much like your standard 97 outsole moving up to the mid section here the midsole so what you're going to be seeing in there is kind of the same sort of thing, at least as far as coloring goes. But you got that big air bubble and you can see kind of in there it's like a little bit of a cork color, you know, that orangish, brownish tan, whatever it is. And then otherwise it's just like the white layer up top. And then swinging around to the back, you do have that Nike swoosh back there. So that's about it as far as the midsole goes. Now, taking a look overall at the bulk of the shoe, right, you kind of get it once you've taken a glimpse of it. There's not a whole lot to talk about, so this review shouldn't take a long time, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get down in here and kind of do a little bit of a comparison. I do have the other pair out here, just in case I need to refer to that, which I might. So down here, right all around the toe box and stuff, first off, you have like that same denim color like you had on the 90s. This time around, it looks very much the same as it did before. The only difference being that on the top area, the last one had more of a canvas style approach, which you can kind of see up there. This one, it's just got the standard layers that you have on Air Max 97s, right? No 3M or anything because, you know, that's just not what they're doing this time around. But here it seems more like a denim style, right? So you got the denim, you got a different, slightly different color, you got the cork, more the denim is on the lower area. You know, it just kind of alternates, right? You kind of see it, you kind of get it, hopefully. So we're just going to move on a little bit from that. And moving towards the back end here, you have the same thing that you have on the outside as on the inside. And that's going to be a grayish blue background with a Nike swoosh in it with like kind of a midnight navy sort of color stitched onto there. And then back further, you have the same thing that you had on the front of the shoe. It's just on the back of the shoe. The only difference on the back of the shoe is that you have this Air Max tab on the very back, right? You don't have one of those on the front because that would just look silly. So that's mostly the outside of the shoe, right? I mean, as I was saying, once you've taken a look at it, you kind of get it. You don't need me to walk you through everything. You're, well, maybe you do need it, some of you, but I'm not going to do it, so there's that. Now moving back over here to the front of the shoe, getting into the laces and all that good stuff. So with the laces here, it's going to be the same ropey style lace that you have on a lot of things. I just saw these on two reviews I did yesterday, whatever those were, up tempos and 12s. So you got this standard rope lace kind of thing. These do feel a little bit better in my opinion, but whatever. 
So it's just gonna be that with the Midnight Navy's color once again. Now you can't quite see it all that well, but behind there on the actual tongue, you do have that cork plant thing, kind of like you had on the 90s, same sort of thing, I believe. Just that this one, it says Fig 6 cork, the last one said Fig 5. So, slight difference there, otherwise very similar. So there's that for you, hopefully I've, I've been able to put a little picture in there to kind of show you what it actually looks like. But anyways, otherwise at the top of the tongue you do have another little pull tab thing. This one is just going to be in that, it's more like a yellowish sort of color kind of lighter than what you saw on the bubbles, or at least on the inside of the bubble. So that kind of covers everything else. And then one minor thing, since I miss it from my angle, on the other side you do have a Nike swoosh up at the top. So simple stuff, right? So let's go ahead and jump on into the inside and talk about what's going on in there. And then we can get this whole review finished up sooner or later. So down in there, same thing you had on the previous version, on the 90s version, just got this green insole with a white swoosh on it. Still, as I said last time, it's a weird color choice in my opinion. And then as far as the insole goes, it's going to be the same style as it was before, just that that one was more of the same color as you have on this pull tab. This one it's going to be just the Midnight Navy, which I think is a good choice. And then it does feel kind of plush on the tongue, so that should be cool for like comfort and all that good stuff. But otherwise, nothing amazing in there. So going back to that whole SE thing, what makes these special? Not a whole lot so far. But let's see what's next after that. This seems like everything, right? I talked about the outside, talked about the inside, said some things about some things. So let's go ahead and just move on into like my personal thoughts and whatnot, and then we'll move on with the whole rest of the thing, like the size and the comfort, right? I am a huge fan of cork things, right? I'm actually wearing, wearing some cork slides right now. But anyways, as far as these go, when I came out, when I saw them during my little sneaker recap video or whatever, I was like, yeah, these are something I definitely want to get, right? And it kind of took a little bit of patience, but it did pay off. And so now that I have them and I'm looking at them up close, because I did skip over JJ All Day's video since I hadn't seen them for myself, these are looking really nice. I gotta say, I kind of prefer them over the 90s, but I am a 97 fan over 90s anyway, so there is that. Your personal preference, that might sway you in another direction. Whatever that is, stick to it. Don't let me change your thoughts. Anyways, now that I have these, like, they were a little pricey, you know what I mean? It was $160 had a $20 finish line <clears throat> coupon to use, but otherwise, I wasn't super into the price, but for what it is, given that I don't find myself liking a lot of 97s, and I don't see a lot of 97s in general, I was a little more okay with spending the extra money on them, right? So, all in all, to wrap things up, I like the way they did these things. I think they came off very nicely, and eventually I'll be putting them on feet and wearing them around town or whatever. For now, I'm just gonna have to, I guess, put them on feet and wear them around this here apartment. You know, it's not quite the same, but it gets a certain point across, which is the next point of this video given that I'm going to be talking about sizing and comfort and stuff. And while I do that, I like to show people the what we're talking about, you know? Give you those up-close shots, on feet anyways. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now, the 97, right? It's a true-to-size fit overall, in my personal opinion. However, with this particular 97, same with the 90 in this same style, they fit small. They truly do. So. You might want to consider going up half a size if you're looking at a pair of these. I mean, the 97 already is kind of a slim build in itself, but I've never had a problem with it. But these particular ones, these cork releases, it's definitely a strong consideration to go up half a size. But you can figure that out for yourself, you know, if you find them in stores or whatever. I think the 90s are still relatively available. The 97s, I don't know, they've been tricky to nail down. But Past that though, as far as like the comfort goes and everything, walking around on these, I do really like the, the feeling of the full length air bubble and all that good stuff. It worked out then and it's still working out now, which is why things like the Genome still use it. So if you're looking for an all day wear shoe, I would say that this is gonna do it for you. The only caveat there being that the upper might kind of sway your opinion a certain way based on the day and like the temperature and all that stuff because this particular upper it's not gonna be as breathable as your standard Air Max 97, so that's something to keep in mind. But 
as far as if you're going to be out for a short period of time or something, you know, I don't, I wouldn't think about it in that case, you know, because they do still look pretty good. So they at least have that going for them to kind of balance out the experience. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty nice shoe to walk around in as far as all day comfort goes. And it does normally fit slim, but this time it fits even slimmer. So keep that in mind if you're going to go ahead and buy yourself a pair. Otherwise, I think we're good on the sizing and the comfort and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and get moved on with this. So, like I was saying, this here, the 90, I'll give you like a quick close-up comparisons and whatever for the people that are still with me, which will mostly be in the way of photos and whatnot because I feel like once you look at the things, you can kind of see for yourself what the differences are. So I'll just kind of let this, the pictures speak for themselves and that way I don't actually have to like tell you what you're seeing, right? And I mean, unless you like can't see or something, then uh, I guess why are you even watching this video? Unless you just like to listen to stuff. But anyway, so I think that's about enough of me for, from this perspective or whatever, from these 90s or 97s. So I'm going to move on because I got two other reviews to do. So from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll be back shortly because I, like I said, I got two more videos to record today. So, later people.